Okay. Hi, Mikey. Hey. Okay. So, this is a war game, and there's a lot of complicated rules, but we're going to uh, learn it together as, as well as we can. Okay, so mm -hmm. there is the Russians versus the, uh, the Germans. It is October 1942, and mm -hmm. there's fighting in Stalingrad. Who would you would like to be, first of all, the Germans or the Russians? The Russian moves first, but the Germans set up first. Uh, you, you pick first, I guess. Uh, but who do you want to be? You choose first, not the, and I'll take the. Okay, we'll roll. Okay, if it's we roll two dice, if it's an odd number, I take the Germans, and if it's an even number, you take the. I'll take the Russians. Okay. Wait, two dice or one? Two dice. So I'm. Okay. You want to roll them or I'm going to roll them? I'll, I'll roll. Roll for it. Seven. Uh, it's odd, so I'm going to take the Germans. Okay. Okay. Now this is how you set up. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you can only put as much as three squads in a hex and I believe 10 per tash points. 10 per tash points is the number of weapons you can carry. Okay. And each, each weapon has a different per tash point. So hold on one second. Uh, oh, I didn't change the names of the leaders, but it doesn't matter. Well, okay. it does, it does. Hold on one second. Don't move those guys around. Yet, okay, because I have to set up first. All yeah. right. Okay, so let's take out scenario one. I have this guy Kelso here. He's a nine uh, minus one leader. Change the leader name and put him as Kelso. Uh, guess what? Are what's important in are the leaders' names? Names, and then eight O is Polak. You're going to be the Russians. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's Polak. Um, Waltzenberger is my 9 minus 2. I'll explain to you what all the, these numbers mean. Mm -hmm. Waltz. Uh, M7 is Hambian. I should have done that ahead of time. Uh, so I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm right-clicking on the unit and selecting change leader name and M9 is Heiken. Heiken sounds like Heineken. Okay, and then you have a 8-0 leader called Koenov. Where do you see that? Uh, right above, it says guards counter-attack. At the top yeah. of the board, you have uh, units in N4. So he is, his name is Koenov. The first one, right? Yep, 8 minus 0. Yeah. And then you have uh, 9 minus 2 in J2, and I believe he goes with a 4 for 7. He's Dubovich. Is it one of the MMG or the per personnel? It's oh, there I found it. There yeah, you found it. And yeah. your 10 minus 2, he's your most powerful leader. His name is Bricky. 10 minus 2. Yep, he's in building F3. Is he? No, something went wrong there. He should be. Yeah, yeah, he's in F3. Wait, so I'm setting up now, right? No, I'm setting up first. Okay. Okay, so watch how I set up. You can, you can set up. 10 per tash points, but usually th in with this scenario, you rarely have uh, more more uh, weapons than you need. So first, I'm going to set up Kelso, and he's in building F5. Building F5 is where you see these, the, uh, let me use this, this thing here. Here's where building F5 is. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so I'm going to use that to point at things so you can see them. All right, so first I'm going to set up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the machine guns. 
then the infantry all in the same hex, and then the leader on top. Right. Uh, okay, K5. This guy, hold on, I'm just moving him on the board. So K5 is this building here. See that? Oops. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he, the way he will set up is I'm going to put an LMG there, an LMG here, and then I'm going to put a unit here, a unit there, and a unit there. They haven't actually moved. Mm -hmm. And then a leader here. Now, there's a reason why I didn't stack Polak with any infantry unit. Um, there are There is this thing called a morale check. So if he hits him and you get a result called a morale check, what happens is the u if the unit the leader breaks, the the infantry below him will have to suffer a double morale check. And if they fail twice, they're KIA, killed in action, right? Mm hmm Okay. Building I seven. Ooh. It's this one down here. Yeah. Okay, I seven. So he has, he's uh, what they call a, a Death Star or a very powerful uh, stack of units because there's six, uh, actually three machine guns, light machine guns, three squads, and a nine minus two liter. So what is a nine minus two liter uh, means is he has, he has a morale of nine. So if, if I roll and I get nine or less on a morale check, he passes. And then the minus two, he can use that minus two to uh, score a better hit with his with his firepower or to rally broken units. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the MMG here, light machine gun here. I'm so I'm setting up this building here. And I'm being brave and putting my leader where you can fire upon him. So the leaders are the names. The Hamian, yeah. The 8 minus 1. You have a multi-man squad which has 4, 6, 7. You see the 4, 6, 7 here? On the dot? Right here. They put in? 4, 6, 7. Right there. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 4 is how much firepower he has. Mm -hmm. Six is his range. You can fire six hexes away. Now, N6 is a hex. It's a hex hexagon, but we call it hex for short. Oh, and okay. seven is his morale. How much punishment he can take before he gets scared and tries to run away. Okay. Bit complicated, right? And then, yeah. now, my last one is down here. He has a heavy machine gun, mm -hmm. a squad, and an 8-1 leader. Now, none right. of them have moved. So I'm going to remove the moves like this. Click. And now, I think the easiest one to set up is in J2. So in J2, you have a MIDI machine gun. Uh, the MMG, right? Yep, MMG. Yeah. He goes in there. And a 447 squad. Yeah. So put the up... Right above it. Like that? Just one. Oh. So I can I can help you take out uh, take him out. Hold on one second. You double click. You select yeah. one. Uh, put it on the side, and put it on the side. Okay. Yeah. Now put Dubovich in there. Dubovich. Yeah. Yeah. Now in in this building here, M two, where you see the star. Yeah. You actually are supposed to put three. Four four seven. So you want to pick one, one more, and drop him in there in M two. What's I got two here, right? Yeah. And now you have three. That's good. Now in N two, you have another four four seven. Right here. Yeah. So take one squad and drop him in there. No, in N two in the wooden building. Ah, uh, here. Yep. Good job. Uh, now. 
in N5, you're supposed to have four squads and a leader. Now, remember, uh, two things. You can only put as many as three squads in one hex, and it's not a good idea to stack the 8 minus 0 leader with them, because if he breaks, they're going to have to take a double morale check. Mm -hmm. So it, it's up to you how you want to set set up up but I'm going to tell you if you if your setup is not good or out of the ordinary and I'll explain to you why it's not good. Okay, so it's all in N4, right? In the building uh N3, N4, N5, M5. Okay. So four um people, four squads. Four four sevens. That's one, two, three. Okay, I think you deleted one by accident. Uh, no, you have four. But remember, you can only stack three in a hex. Oh, yeah. Now, good. Um. Okay, you can stack them. Actually, em. here. No, he got, it has to be in the stone building. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, it wouldn't be a good idea to put him in M4 because in a wooden building, he has less protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Than in a stone building. Okay. Bullets do not penetrate um, as or easily stone. through stone than they do in wood. Now, here's okay. the other, here's the thing about your setup, Mikey. Those three squads can fire most likely over here okay mm -hmm. but they won't be able to fire here and they won't be able to fire here because they can't see those Hambian and the 467 down there right? right and the whole point of this game is to capture two German buildings okay so I'm not too sure if your setup is correct. It's not the right thing to do. Because already, uh, these guys here can fire down to here. Okay. What most people usually do is, what they, is this. Is they put two squads here and yeah. here and put the leader there. Do you like this better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Now, you have what they call engineers. You see the six to eights? Yeah. Basically, you got to set them up here, 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 and here. And the question is, where do you put your leader? Not like stacked on them. Well, he is a very powerful leader. So... Powerful leaders, they do go in the front. But right. you got to be careful. Right. So I saw Pungu engin engineers then? Uh huh. That's you got to put them two. right in the hex. Oh. Hmm. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. And my. Bre what's his name again? Bert, you can put him last. That's the hard decision. Okay. I'll put my engineers, I guess, yeah. here. Yep. There's no yeah. real choice there. Here. Oh, you got to put him in the star, F3. Oh, okay. Here. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. And now the choice is, where do you put Berkey? I'm, I'm assuming here. That's not a bad choice. Okay. That's not a bad choice. And I'll explain to you soon as to what's going on. Now, this game is played in phases, and you are supposed to move first. There is no movement. This was set up. I think uh, you did pretty good with setup. So we have... We have five turns, and each turn um, has 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight phases, right? Mm -hmm. And here's the victory conditions. You either capture two of my buildings that I now occupy, or you break three times more squads than you have broken. So I basically have to kill three of your squads. Uh, no. For each squad that... For you, for each squad that is broken, three of mine have to be broken. So if you have two broken squads, I have to have six broken. Oh, okay. It's bad, eh? Yeah. So I, I must capture then the buildings. Yep. Now, this is rally phase. Rally phase is where we try to repair broken weapons and broken squads. We have no. right. So we can go to prep fire. What does prep fire mean is you you fire someone, but it's prepared fire. You pick up the gun, you aim, you fire, and you have no time to move. So anybody you prep fire cannot move. Mm -hmm. Now, who can you fire at? I'll show you. You see the, this, these guys here? Yeah. And these guys here. Yeah. They can fire here. And why would they want to fire there? It's to break the, this guy because this guy is covering this road here. All right. And you want to cross that road to take this building here. So you can fire them as a, as a group but then you can't use your leader or you can fire one stack at a time and for one stack your leader will able to 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 help your fire um i uh, i think i'm going to fire like one at a time okay one stack at a time so mm -hmm. you see where the 467 is yeah uh, yep that the blue ones right okay what you want to do is click on them and you'll yeah. see this counter called prep fire. Wait, click. Yeah. Click, drag and drop on a prep fire marker on Berkey. Oops. Oh, it's you. Oops. Yeah, don't drop it on, on me. Yep, there. Now you take a red track marker, like the one I'm using. You see it yeah. in your counter tray there? Yeah. Click and drag drop it on the four six seven and in, in J four. Okay, so I drop a the red marker on J four. Was it called? Oh yeah, marker marker move. The red marker, the track marker. It's between. It doesn't have a name on it. It's red, and it looks like this. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to put it on. Oh, click and drag, click, yeah. on, drag and drop it on the 467. Okay, I'll put another one here. Okay, so can that stack of Russian squads see my 467? The answer is yes, because any building that's bigger than three hexes has two levels. All right. So he's Berkey is higher than the building in H3, so you can see him. How much firepower do you have? Fire, there's three sixes. Six plus six is 12, plus six is 18. But it's halved, your firepower is, is divided by two, halved, because he, the, your target is three hexes away, outside of your normal range. So 18 divided by two, is nine and then that goes down to eight what am i talking about okay you see that where it says oba oba no uh there's one dice two dice three dice oh OBA, yeah, yeah 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 and then there's charts charts is an actual oba right yeah yeah okay the first thing you should see is called an ift i'll click on it real quick IFT is a 10.3? Correct. Now, firepower, FP. You have 1, yeah. 2, 4, Three. 6, and 8. Yeah. 
Okay, if you get anything between a 1 and 3, what does it say there? So, a 1 is a KIA. Yeah. And a 3 is a 1 hit, I mean like a 1 marker. No, the 3 is a KIA as well. Oh, uh, and a 2 is a KIA, I yep. guess. Yep. You need to get an 8 or less, right? Here's the thing. Because he is, a, in, he is in a building, you have to add three to your die roll, but your leader takes away two, so you have to add one. So, so it's one dice. No, you're going to do two dice, yeah. two d6. Okay, you have eight firepower, and to your die roll, you need to add one. There. So now you're going to roll on the two dice. Okay. You need seven or less. Damn it. You missed. You got a nine. Oh, it's six. All right. Ten. Six nine, yeah. Okay, now you're going to do it again. Okay? You're going to mm -hmm. take a prep fire marker. Right. Okay. Not that one. Hold on. That guy stays there. Okay. Okay, take a new one. Uh, let me spawn one in real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, prep fire, yeah. Woo! You got three of them. How'd you do that? Uh, I do not know. Okay, I'm going to delete them. Don't do anything. Okay, so now it's 8 up 3 because you don't have a leader. You need a uh, 5 or less. So 3 dice. 2 dice. 2. Mm -hmm. That's a good roll. You got a 3 plus 3 is six now if you look at the chart eight yeah. go down to six how much is that uh that's a hyphen or an m nope you go look at the a table yeah oh that's a, that's a that's a one it's a one morale check guess what that means my morale is seven i have a one morale check i need to roll a six or less so not to break. If I break, I can't fire at you. Okay. So, all right. Here, I'm going to put one MC. Needs six or less. And I'm rolling. Seven. He breaks. This wow. is what happens when he breaks. Yeah, wow. And this is called desperation morale. Okay. Now, do you want to fire anybody else? Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something, okay? You see mm -hmm. the guy called Dubovich? Dubovich. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can fire. You have a choice. He can fire on Walzenberger. He can fire on the broken unit. Or he can fire on the unit in K4. Waltz is the guy down behind the house, right? Yep. Most people do not know that there is line of sight there, but there is. And how do you check line of sight? What do I talk about? Usually when you're playing on this board game, you have to use a string or a ruler. Yeah. But uh, if you hit on the button called loss. Yeah. And you click and drag a line between J2 and I7. J2 and I7. You should get a... White line, meaning you have clear line of sight. You can see him. No, I uh, no, I don't. Well, trust me, you do. So you can fire on Waltz. You can fire on the broken guy. Or you can fire on... Hey, you checked line of sight. That's good. Or you can fire on K4. Why it's all blurry now? Oh, th just click on anywhere on the board. Anywhere else on the board. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right. So who do you want to fire? Oh, at? you do. Hello? Yeah. Who do you want to fire at? Okay. Um. The bitch. Um. Can we? Can we? Can I fire at the guy at four, 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 six, seven? The one single, single dude. In K four. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's eight plus two. Hold on, I'm going to write it down. 8, firepower, plus 2. So it's plus 3 for the building, minus 1 for your leader. And you have 
a 447 and a f your machine gun is 4, but if you roll 11, it breaks. Okay, so 3 dice. 2 dice. Two. Always 2. Go for it. Uh, 6 plus 1 is 7 plus... actually it's plus 2. Uh, 7 plus 2 is 9, you missed by 1. So he prep fired. Okay. Okay. Um, you gotta put a prep uh, fire marker on him. Oh, okay. Uh, do I move it on the one the one next to it? No, no. You gotta put him on Dubovich like this. Watch, I'll oh, show okay. you. Here. I got it, I got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, Mikey, you have mm -hmm. three squads in M2 uh, right here. See them? Yep. yep. They, can, they can fire either at the squad at K4 or the squad at uh, either this squad or that squad. And that would be 12 plus 3 because you 3 times 4 is 12. Um, or you cannot, you don't want to move them, but you don't want to, if you may choose not to fire them and move them. Yeah, I'll move one. Okay, so not now. We'll do that in the movement phase. You want to prep fire two? No, I'll prep fire one. You're going to, that four? Okay, go back to your chart. Yeah. You see the four table? Where it says? Four, four out of 40. Yeah. You need a six yeah. or less, all right, and you're going to add three to your die roll. In order to hit with one squad, you'll have to roll three or less, okay? If you use all three squads, you'll need a six or less. You, so you have a 50-50 chance of hitting it. Mm-hmm. So if I, if I only have one squad, I have to roll... A three or less. Three or less. Uh, sure. I'll go with attack. Uh, attack with all three. Uh, all three is the twelve M two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Now, who do you want to fire at? Do you want to fire at the the one in K four or the one in K six? Uh, K five. K four. The one right here. Okay. Good. And put a prep fire marker on them. They didn't move. There's no movement. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want to put a track marker there and a prep fire. There you go. So you need, you have 12 firepower factors. Okay. You always roll with two dice, but you have to add yeah. three to your dice roll. So two dice. You roll it now? Yep. Nine. Uh, no, seven. Plus three is ten. Oh, on the 12 chart? No. No. You missed by one. Buggers. Okay. Uh, the guy in N2 cannot see anybody. Now, the, the four squads, they can combine a fire group. And they can either try and kill Hambian, the leader and the two squads, or they can try and hit the one squad with a light machine gun. So let me tell you how many firepower factors you have there. You have 16 if you use all four squads against Hambian. So we're One in the houses, here. right? Look, I'll show you. Okay, here's my track marker. Yep. Okay, so you can fire as a group this squad, these two squads, and these two squads at this guy at 16 plus 3. So if you look at your chart, 16 plus 3, you'll need 7 or less just to hit. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so put a, a track marker on Hambian. Good. And prep fire those two squads. One that's in front of uh, you're gonna fire them. As a, you're gonna yeah, the two that are in front of Kohenov. Okay. So that's sixteen firepower factors plus three to your two two d six. So two dice, add three to your roll. So two dice, right? Yep. 
That's a 5. Plus 3 is 8. On the 12th chart, is a 1 morale check. Oh. Yes. 1 MC. So Hambian goes first. He needs 7 or less. That's the leader. Mm-hmm. Okay. He makes it. He's lucky. The two squads now need seven or less because the leader's minus one, so he's a, he negates the one morale check. So I need seven or less times two. If he broke, they would have had to go for a second morale check. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, and they both break. Six plus five, 11 and 8. They both break. Losers. Break. And <laughs> break. Good hit, Mike. So, wait. Uh, oh. Alright, yeah. Okay, I feel confident a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think that's all you can fire. So, the next phase is movement phase. So... Anybody that did not prep fire can now move. And guess what? Let's see. Rally what? phase, prep fire, movement. We can just flip this wheel to... Wait a second. Uh, advance, movement phase. Okay. So squads can move four points. With a leader, they can move six points. Every time they go into a hex they pay a point. They pay one point for moving onto a road. Uh, moving along a road it's half a point and moving into a building is two points. These guys here, let me show you. These guys and these yeah. guys can now move across the street. But the problem is, is if they go here they can't all go there. I am going to be able to fire them at double my firepower. So if you go there or there. Wait, which one? Wait, so the guy in the house can fire? Only if you be, only if you come next to me. If they go here, uh, only Waltzenberger can fire at them. But only three can go there, and the other three can either stay in the road, which is not recommended, or go here, or here. The other thing you can do is you can put one squad here and one squad there, or two squads here and one squad there and three here. But you have six squads. Six squads. All right. So uh, what I, w I would recommend is trying to put three here. And then two here and one there. All right, so you can move them one at a time or in a stack. I'll move one here. Hold on, you can't move like that. Oh, hold on one second. I'll show you how to move. You move like this, okay? That's one, yeah. One and a half. Oh. And then two, three and a half to go here. Now, you can also move them all here. But yeah, but uh, Kelso can fire. Kelso can fire and so can Waltz. Um, yeah. But he will have to have a choice as to where he's firing. So, I don't know. Let's see. So where would you like to move them? Okay, I like. Okay, I like my. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I like it. This one here. Um. That's one. One and a half. I want to move this one. I'm gonna just move it a little bit. Hold on. Oh, well, did you didn't finish moving these guys? Oh. Uh, uh, the ones here? Yeah. It's not a good idea to leave them in the street. Right. 
Um, I'm gonna move. Yeah, can I move him in the house? Yeah. There. There. No. No. You don't move like that. Okay. All right. So hold on one second. You, I would say, all right, here, move he, two of them here. And oh, okay. One of them like this, okay? Now, mm -hmm. move these other guys. I'll show you uh, what I would do, okay? This is one, one and a half, two, three and a half. This mm -hmm. is one, two, three, and one, two, three. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. Um, the other thing you could do would, well, I'm not sure. We'll see how it works out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this squad up here uh, can move into the stone building. Yeah, I, would, I was planning to do that. Yep. Good. The O2 or the P3? N2 to N3. So N2. Let mm -hmm. me see. This one. Yeah, N2 to N3. Yeah, put him in the hex. Great. I don't think you can move anyone. So we'll go now to my defensive fire phase. So okay. Kelso has a choice. So he's going to fire. <laughs> One squad and two light machine guns. Okay. Here. So that's eight. Doubled is 16 plus three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to roll. Eight. Plus three. Right. Eleven. On the 16 chart. I think that's a miss. Yep. Missed by one. Yeah. He has. As well. Two squads. That's an eight. Doubled is 16. Minus. Uh, plus two. On G6. So 16. Firepower plus two and fire. Okay, that's an eight on a sixteen chart. Is a one morale check. So you need now seven or less. Times two. So it's your turn to roll, and he defensive fired. Go ahead, yeah, Mikey, you can roll. Uh, you need seven or less twice with two dice. Oh, uh, two dice, right? Yep. One broke. And the second one broke. Okay. Which has broken? Oh, well, both of them. Here, break and break. Ah. Well, check. Yep. All right. Okay, now Waltzenberger. By the way, I think you did pretty well. Waltzenberger, defensive, defensive fires here. Versus here. So that is 12, 14, 16. I'm not using one line machine gun plus one because plus three for building, minus two for the leader. Okay, mm -hmm. 16 plus one. And I roll. Uh, that's a nine. Nine on the 16 table. Is another one morale check. One MC needs seven or less 
times two. So you got to roll twice with two dice, seven or less. Going once. Now? Yep. Ooh, six. Another one. Eight. Four. So they both break. Oh. Is that going so well? I guess not. Okay. This is six plus four. Nope, I'm not using the light machine gun. Four plus four is eight. They're going to fire uh, as a fire group. Defensive fire. Defensive fire. Do you hear? So that's 8 plus 3. 8 firepower factors plus 3. And roll two dice. Missed. Now the leader. Ah, forget it. Okay, these guys are 6. 2 for the light machine gun plus 4 for the squad. Mm -hmm. And they're going to fire at these dudes here. Six plus three. That's uh, interesting. Four plus three is seven. On the six chart is a morale check. So you need seven or less times two. Go for it. Um, all two dice, right? Mm -hmm. Makes it. Four. Another one? Yep. Breaks. Uh, one of them or both? Just one. Oh, okay. So I to put one down. Yep, you're good. Okay, and I believe I'm checking LOS. Yep, Hiken is a six, four, this 10 goes down to eight. So the heavy machine gun and the squad is eight firepower plus two on these dudes in N5. And five. Uh, let me log it. Boom. And eight on the eight chart is a miss. There you go. That's all I can fire. I've literally fired everybody. Now it's what you call your advancing fire phase. Now those guys that moved can can fire, right? Mm hmm. But usually it's at half their firepower. Okay. But since your engineers here are next to my leader in F6, right. they're halved and doubled. So they end up being their even uh, firepower. 6 plus 6 is 12. So, of course, you want to fire back at those leaders, at, at the leader in the three the three squads in F6. So that is a 12 plus 3, Mikey. 12 plus 3, alright. Roll with two dice. Damn it! Excuse my language. You missed. Oh. Uh, uh, that's all? Mm, no. You see this squad here? Yeah. He still has LOS to this guy here. Because that building doesn't block him. He's a level 1. And he's in a level 2 building. But it, since he moved, he's not a 4. He's halved. Down goes to 2 plus 3. So you can roll in a 2 table. Um, you need snake eyes. That means 2s. 
One and one. Okay. Nope. Okay, nope. So that was that, and this was advance fire. Okay. So now, there's what you call route phase. It's called runaway phase. The people that broke can run away. Mm -hmm. So let me show you who can run away. I believe these guys here can run away like this. One, two, three, four. It doesn't bring them into the uh, closer to enemy, any known enemy unit. Yeah. These guys can run away, and they're not in the... Nobody can see them running away, I don't believe. These guys can run away like one, two, three. Okay. Oh, these guys here can run away to Koronov. We should m remove all, remove all prep fire, all m uh, movements, well, yeah. Okay, this guy, these two guys can run away with their leader, and it's now my turn to run away. Right. Leaders can, can route with the broken units. And this guy, but they cannot take their weapons with them. An advanced squad leader, you can, you literally cannot. Uh, take away anything. Uh, take drop weapons that easily. So you manage All to right. route a couple of units. This is the end of the route phase, and next comes advance phase. So you can advance units one hex anywhere you want, but preferably not in front of the enemy. Mm-hmm. Now the other thing that can happen is these guys can jump onto Kelso and then what we have is what is called the close combat situation. But right. it, it would be um, it would be um, a very hairy situation. It would be one to one odds for you, and then for me, I have 12, and uh, the light machine guns I would be able to use, that's actually uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 to uh, year 12, um, so that would be, I'm pretty bad in math. Oh, well. All right. Yeah. Uh, divide by two would be six to eight. Divide by two again would be to four. Would not be. Let me see. All right. Uh, actually, 12, 16, uh, divided by 3 would be 4, divided by 3, have to take out the chart as well. Uh. Do you want help or? Well, you would need, I believe, five or less. And what I would need is, in my attack, uh, I would say one to one. We would both need uh, 
One, five or less. Six or, mm -hmm. for le or less for me because I can use my leader. So you, you need five or less to kill me. I need... That's if you want to advance into close combat. Is there any better options? Well, if you stay there, uh, you'll get hit with a lot of firepower. So that's the best bet. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay put, I guess. You want to stay put? You don't want to go on attack? Because I'm going to fire you back at you. Okay, well, then I'll attack. Okay. Berkey can advance onto one of these broken guys and try to rally them next turn. You see where I advance okay. Berkey? Yes. Okay. And I won't advance anybody else. Alright. Okay. So now we have a close combat situation. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, who's going to roll? Uh, it's your close, your turn, so you're going to roll first. You need a five Two or dice. less. Two dice, right? Yep. You did it. Hey. You did it. And now I need six or less. We're both dead. Oh, wow. Yeah. I could be wrong about this one. I'm not too good at counting odds. So these guys going to the uh, graveyard. Graveyard. Oh, uh, we do that. You right click on the unit and then you select graveyard. Right click, graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. And we don't have a close combat situation anymore. Alright. So what happens is now we flip this turn, this wheel, flip, and it's uh, Axis. Axis, turn two. We'll play until Axis, turn two, and then call it a night? Uh, if you want to. Or you want to continue? It's up to you. Okay. So now I flip this turn counter, and it's mm -hmm. my rally phase. Do I have anybody broken? Yes. The first turn that a unit is broken, he suffers desperation morale. So if his morale is 7, see my mm -hmm. unit here? Uh, where is that? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has 7. I have to add 4 to my die roll. So he needs 3 or less to rally. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here, I'm going to roll. I rolled a five. He doesn't make it. Now here, I have a minus one leader. So I only add three to my die roll. That means I need four or less times two squads. Okay. So here goes, once, twice, they both don't make it. Now your turn, up here with Berkey, you have a minus two leader. Yeah. You need each squad that's broken, that's two of them, okay? Mm -hmm. They need six or less, twice. Okay, so two dice or one? Times two, two dice all the time. Okay, uh, all right, ready? Yep. Once makes it. No. Nope. And the other one doesn't make it. Okay, so one guy is no longer broken. Okay, you can do it. You can select one squad, right click, and then select break. Hold on, I'm trying to do this. Break. Good. Uh, okay. I don't know how that got there. Uh, you selected the wrong guy. All right. So your your Berkey is not. Uh, your leader broken. not broken. Just one squad rallied. The squads in H three cannot rally because they need to be in a uh, with a leader. So that mm -hmm. leaves us the squads down here in N four. He needs a three or less. 
Mm-hmm. So nobody moved. Here, go for it. Three or less. Uh, two dice, right? Uh, yep. No. Nope. Okay. So now that's the end of our rally phase, and we remove all DMs. They're no longer DM'd. Mm -hmm. Unless they get fired upon again. So now I'm in a very difficult situation here, uh, Michael. I cannot defend F5. Uh, the two, my two buildings are about to fall. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, this guy is going to defensive a uh, prep fire at this guy. So it's 16 plus 1. I have three squads, two light machine guns, and a minus 2 leader. All right. 16 firepower plus 1. So I roll 10, 11 on a 16 table. Missed by one. Do I roll or? Nope. Nope. I missed. Okay. Oh, all right. I missed. Completely. Okay. Now, these two squads again. This squad. And this squad. That's an eight. And you're in a stone building, so it's 8 firepower plus 3. I need a 5 or less, I believe. Mm -hmm. Missed. Uh, this squad is going to stay put. He's going to prep fire at 6 plus 3. At this guy. That's a complete miss. Was what was I expecting? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now guess what, Mike? This what? makes it your. What the heck is this? Advanced phase, close combat phase. Uh, Axis uh, rally phase, prep fire phase, Axis movement phase, I have nobody to move. It's your defensive fire phase. Now, who you can fire? You can fire the engineers. Well, at least you can fire these guys here to this broken unit here. And why would you want to do that? If you score a a morale check and I feel he dies, he goes to the graveyard and uh, even if you don't hit him he gets to become DM again desperation morale so that would be mm -hmm. uh, 6, 12, 18 uh, halved would be 8 firepower plus 3 8 FPs plus 3 in 5 or less do, I, uh, do you roll or I you roll? roll? You roll. I get two dice. Mm -hmm. Six. You missed by one. Six Damn. plus three is nine. So, desperation morale. He's DM'd and he defensive fired. Mm. This guy, Dubovic, he can fire back at the nine minus two or he can fire at the squad closest to him at eight plus two. Okay, uh, wait, wait, what are the options again? Uh, this squad here, or th this fire group here? The fire, um, uh, uh, fire group. Fire group, so, yeah. eight, oh, wait a second, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's not eight, it's six plus two. This one here will be eight plus two. Oh, then I'll take the 8 plus 2. Okay. Uh, go for it. Okay, roll 2. Yep, 2 dice. Seven, 7 plus 2 is 9. It's a miss. Damn it. Yep. Okay, these guys here...
can fire either at these guys or these guys at 12 plus 3. Mm, 12 plus 3. Yeah, but who do you want to target? These guys or these guys? Uh, the, closest, the closest one, that one okay. right here. Uh, 12 FP plus 3. Go for it. Roll 2. That's a miss. That's a miss. Damn Big it. time. Okay, this guy here can fire at, again, at this guy or this guy. Mm, the closest one again. Okay, that's four plus three. Two dice. Two dice. Seven. That's a miss, Seven. probably. Yep, it's a problem miss. Okay. Damn it. Now these guys here can fire at this guy or that guy. One, two, three, four. At eight plus three again. Uh, oh, the heli kitten. Oh, the heli kitten. The Heineken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight plus three, Mikey. Five or less. Uh, rule? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll type, type in chat. Okay. Eight. Eight plus three. Firepower plus three. Roll again, oh. Mikey, because I didn't type it in. Oh, you typed it in? Yeah. Five plus three. Five, six. Five plus three. Yep. Right? Yep. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Morale check. Yeah. Oh, I got it? Yeah. I was supposed oh. to type, so I asked you to roll again. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So, uh, leader needs eight or less. That's a morale check. Makes oh boy. it. Now the squad needs eight or less. Makes it. So he defensive fired. That's all the defensive fire you have. Uh, then it's advancing fire phase. I have none. Route phase. I have nobody to route, and you have nobody to route. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, route phase. Axis advance phase. Okay, so I remove all moves. Remove. Remove all fire, and now I advance. This guy will advance here. And that's it for my advance phase. And close combat phases, there isn't any. Remove all moves. Allied rally phase turn two. Flip and go to turn two. So now it's your rally phase. Berkey up here can rally the squad and he needs eight or less to rally. Uh, ten or less to rally. Uh, let's rally up, I guess. Yep, so roll two dice. You need ten or less. Alright, I'm rolling it now. Mix it. Flip them over. The broken squads. Select the broken yeah. squad. Double click. Yeah. Select the broken guy. Yeah. Okay. And then right click. Select break. Hey. Nah. Not those guys. No. No. Unless it's broken, right? Yeah. Get rid of the DM. Uh, they're both broken. Berserk. Oops. Put them back. Cool. Not moved. Get rid of those things. Okay. Kay, you wanna, you wanna see you in F five here, F three actually. Yeah. You got one broken guy. Select him only. Wait. This one here. These two guys? Nope. 
Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah. Rally. Where the heck is Rally? Oh, there it is. Boop. Hey, hey. Now put, put the stock back. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's one more unit down here. You need seven or less. I'm going to roll it. Hmm? You got him. Yeah. You know how you flip him over? But don't flip over the leader. Let me move this. Wait. Uh, rally. Yep, put them back. Now nobody moved. There you go. Now you can prep fire or you can move. Now this guy here again is guarding the road so you cannot cross the street you need to right. go, oh forget it one second my turn to rally this guy here oh, yeah. three or less doesn't make it now these guys here they need eight or less twice once makes it Twice doesn't make it. One guy rallied. Okay, now, as was as I was saying before, and nobody's DMing anymore. Mhm. Mm as I was saying before, before this guy here. Oops, wait a second. This guy here is guarding the road. So you don't can't cross the street. So you need to get rid of that guy. The one that across the one uh, four six seven. This one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so who's gonna fire at him? Dubovich can uh, fire at him. The six to eight. So he needs an eight up two. Eight firepower, plus two. All right, so I roll. Yep. That's a miss. Damn it. And that's a nine. That's a nine plus two. It's eleven. Okay. These guys can fire. He prep fired. Okay. These guys here can fire at eight up three. Mm hmm. So you need five or less. Roll again. Uh huh. No yes. miss. We're getting the hang of it. Okay. These guys up down here can also prefer the same target at eight plus three. Uh, roll again, I guess. Yeah. Five. That's a hit. Oh shit, nice. Excuse my language, but mm -hmm. nice. So they prep fired. That's great. Now I have to pass the morale check. Uh, it's a normal it's MC. I need seven or less. He breaks. You know what that means, Mike? No, not really. What that means is your leader. And the two engineers can dash across the street like this. One, two, three, take the building, four, mm -hmm. five, and they gain those light machine guns, right? And then they yeah. have a direct line of fire to Waltz, to Hambian, and to Heineken. Because there's nobody now to stop you from crossing the street there. Okay. Okay. And yeah. then you, that means you've gotten one out of the two objectives you need to win. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, on the other side, uh, you have eight firepower factors. What the heck happened to my uh, marker? Who knows? Okay, on the other side of the road of the, of the city, these guys can fire here or here at eight up three. 
Uh, can I move my guy to the sentries? To the where? Like, to here? I'm gonna move this, like here, at five. Oh, uh, during movement phase. Ah, oh, okay, so what, what, what I can do now. Yeah, now it's fire phase. You can fire these guys if you want. You can... I wouldn't recommend walking through the road because you see this guy here? With yeah. the light machine gun? He has the road covered this way. Yeah, that won't move then. You can fire him though at 8 plus 3 either to this guy or to this guy. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I will say my decision. I will, I, will, I will don't move or shoot. You don't have to move or shoot. Yeah. I would fire them at one point or another. All right then. Okay, choose your target. Uh, my targets are the guy with a four, six, seven, right? You want no. this one or the leader with the heavy machine gun? Oh, I see it. I'll add the leader. Good job. Good choice. Okay, eight up three. Let me type it in. I go for it. Rolling. Yes. That's Damn right. it. Okay. You can fire these guys as well. Twelve up three. Uh, the guys I'm talking to you about are these guys here to these guys there. Mm hmm So I can find in that building. Uh huh. Okay, I'll do the for four six four six seven. The that's so that one to that one. Okay. So you fire here from here. That's twelve plus three. Do I uh, roll two dice? Yep. Up. Seven, six, ten. 10 on the hit. 12th chart. Hit or miss? Miss by one. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, 4 plus 3? No, don't do 4 plus 3. What I'm going to ask you to do is let's go to movement phase. Allied rally phase, prep fire, movement phase. So, Wait, is this our last uh, movement or? Uh, no. This All is right. turn 2. There's 5. Okay. These guys here can move here, one, two, three, four, four, five. Nobody can touch them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. You want to click and drag like this, select them all. Yeah. Okay, then move them to F4. Like this? That's one, yep. Move them into F5, mm -hmm. 2, 3, and then move them into F6. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you want to put the leader on top. Okay, yeah. Now, the other thing you can do is, instead of moving them all the way there, is okay, that move them back 1, and then you can advance there, and then Waltz cannot fire at you at this turn. You'll survive okay, yeah. for turn two. What was, what was the LMGs? You capture them. But oh, if you okay. break them, you can't use them again. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now what I would do with these squads, this squad, uh, not the leader though, and that squad is move them one, two, three, four. So that squad here would go one, two, and this squad here would go... Uh, or you can move the, the squad here one hex and then advance them both into this hex so I don't get any defensive fire uh, at you yeah yeah I'll do that so move him one hex up uh, which the is it and two this guy here you move him yeah up there here uh, into the building. Oh. Good job. Okay. 
Thank okay. You. So that's the end of your movement phase. Mm-hmm. Ally, uh, ally defensive fire phase. So, now I have no choice but to fire uh, this guy here to here. So, it's Walzenberger versus Dubovic. At 16, not using one light machine gun, plus one. Mm-hmm. So that's a 7 on the 16 table. A 7 on the 16 table is a 2 morale check. So 2 MC, what does that mean? Your leader needs a 7 or less. All right, so I roll. Mm -hmm. He breaks. Break, break. Now, your squad needs a five or less. Five or less? Mm -hmm. Roll. Makes it. Now, oh, and my point. Yeah. Now, your leader, since your leader broke, he has to roll seven or less. That's his second uh, morale check. Yeah. So you need to roll a seven or less. Otherwise, he's dead. No, no, otherwise he's broken. Alright. Hey, he did it. He passed. That that is refreshing. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you did good. Your leader broke, but your squad managed to pass two morale checks. And those were pretty, yeah. pretty good rules. Okay. Alright, let's see now. Uh what's left? Defensive fire from here to here. Six plus three. Six plus three. Yep. Ooh, four plus six is seven. Seven on the six chart. Let's see. Morale check. It's a normal morale check. So you need seven or less. Times three. Mm -hmm. Go for it, Mike. Roll. Make it, makes it? One, yeah, one four. Mm -hmm. Two more. No. Two more rolls. Okay. Ooh, no. breaks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And breaks. That's all? Yeah, so two broke. You can break two. I broke two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I broke one inside the house, right? Two inside the house. In M2. Up here. Oh, shit. Um, one that says perp fire, right? Yep. Oops. Break. And break. Okay. There you go. Uh, that was a lucky shot on my part. Mm -hmm. Six up three. Want me to roll? Hold on, not yet. Defensive uh, okay. fire. Here to there. Six firepowers plus three. Okay. I roll. And I miss by a long shot. Now this guy is eight up three. Defensive fire here to there. Eight firepower. Not plus three. Plus two. I need a six or less. Yeah, missed. So defensive fire phase is over. 
advancing fire. I don't think you have anybody that can fire. Route phase. So the leader, you can leave him there or you can retreat him to K2, to the wooden building over here where nobody can fire upon him. Actually, over here. It's up to you. You can leave him where he is, though. Uh, which one I can move again? The leader that's in here, that's the end. You yeah. can move him here. Or you can leave him there. Let me see what's it's hiding in. Okay, I'll move in K2. Okay, just the leader alone, though. Yeah. Okay. Where is the leader? That's broke. The MG or the people? No, the, just the leader that's broken. He's the top guy under the DM marker. Uh, this guy, right? Yep. Boop. And put the DM counter on top of him. Just the DM counter. Oh, we see that. Wounded? Nope. Uh, hold on one second. This thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. The two broken squads that are here, okay, they mm -hmm. can go to N2 because they're not closer to an any known enemy unit. And over there, I won't be able to fire on them. Mm -hmm. So I can move these people there, right? Yeah, except the uh, unit that's not broken, he stays where he is. He can move All during right. advance phase. So the two broken leaders, I can't move. Which broken leaders? The one, uh... I, uh right here. here. I'll pull you see right, this? Right, right here. Yeah, this guy can move here and yeah. here. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And nobody can fire on them again. Alright. Okay, my turn to, to route. I have this guy. He routes to there. But only one guy is under desperation morale, the other guy is not. So one needs a 7 and the other need, needs a, a 4. These guys are okay. And that's it for route phase. Allied advance phase. Now your units here can advance onto the light machine guns. Mm -hmm. So go for it. A roll or a movement? No, move, move. Right in from here. Yeah. You can move to. Hello? There. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Put your leader on top if you want. There you go. And this turns into a captured victory objective. Congratulations. Hey. We Thank should you. remove all fire now. Mm hmm. And all moves. But this guy, these guys moved. Mark moved. Okay. Uh, these guys can chance it and, and go into the road. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Or these guys can move closer to uh, the jumping point to cross the road. So these guys here can move either here or they can move no they can't move there only one of them can move here they can move here it will make it easier for them to cross into this building like that so I would recommend that you move these guys here do I get fired from Waltz or no nope oh yeah I'll do that yeah. so like this no no leave those guys no. there these guys. These guys? Yep, there. Moving back, there. Okay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend moving anybody in the street. Okay. Okay, now these two squads here, mm -hmm. not the leader, can move into this hex. Yeah, the two leaders of. No, uh, here. The two squads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can move, move in here. here. So, yeah. 
Not the leader. There we go. Put the leader back. Why don't why don't you want to move the leader there? What happens if he breaks? Oh yeah, don't move him like here. If what happens if that leader breaks? He can't do. You have to do more more um, morale check. Double morale check for the squads, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, you can leave this squad here. Or you can try and advance him, but it's fine. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, all movement is off. Uh, close combat. There isn't any. Uh, and I flipped the board over. It's Axis turn two. Axis rally phase. I have over here, I have a broken squad to rally. One needs a seven and the other one needs a three. So mm -hmm. the seven first makes it, then the three doesn't make it. So this guy flip is good. Down here, I have one broken squad. So I need a seven or less makes it I'm a lucky dog yeah you are thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, all right your squads here cannot rally because they're not with a leader the leader here can self rally with a five or less. So you roll. Five or less, alright. Make oh. it. Correct Amundo. So the DM marker comes off and he's rallied, my dear friend. Mm hmm. This guy, delete. Okay, these guys cannot rally because they're not with the leader. Okay? Mm -hmm. But guess what? No more DMs. Mm. Unless they get what? What happened there? Okay. Unless they end up getting fired upon again. So now it's my prep fire phase. And of course, I'm going to fire him at Berkey. Because Berkey's ugly. It's 16 plus 1, 16 firepowers plus 1. And if I roll 12s, my machine guns break. Two out of the three machine guns I have break. So, what I usually like to say is here goes nothing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, there goes. 7 goes to 8 on the 16 chart. 8 on the 16 chart is a 1 morale check. 1 MC. So you need a 9 or less for your leader. Alright. So roll. Whoop. He makes it. And each of your squads now needs a 9 or less. Two times. So I uh, roll it. Nine or less times two. Roll. He breaks. That's a move. Yep. So who did I break? The uh, roll one more time. All right. And he makes it. So one of the two units breaks. And which one? You pick. Anywhere from the board. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on. Not anyone from the board. Right here. Oh. Berkey, oh, okay. One of the two units break. Break. Okay. And break. No, only one. Oh, one. One made it. Yep. Good job. He's still, he's still a force to con 
be content with. Trust me. Mm -hmm. uh, Pollock, he's only a four. Four plus three. So look who, be careful here. I am prep firing this guy on these dudes here, on these three squads here. So it's a four. That's up here, Mikey, right? Yeah. That's a yeah. four firepower plus three. I need a miracle to hit you. What the heck is a miracle? It's something that cannot not happen often. Ah. Okay. Prep fire again. Six up three. So what's happening is these dudes here are firing at these dudes here. Four, mm -hmm. uh, no, six up three. Yeah, six firepowers plus three. Eight missed. Okay, prep fire again. What do I got down there? Oh, yeah. Prep fire here. To there. So it's these guys to these guys. Six up three. Three plus three is six. On the six table, it's a one morale check. One MC. So you need. Six or less times two. So you can roll two dice. All right. One. Breaks. Two. Makes it. So down here, see that right here? You get yeah. one of your choice. Break. Right. Uh, and I'm gonna... oh, wait a second. You broke two. You need one. Yeah, no, I know. Standing. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, Hambian. They don't like Berkey. And Berkey is six axes away from Hambian. And he has two squads. That's an eight plus two. Eight firepower plus two. That means I need a six or less to hit him. All right. And if you try to, if you, I'll show you what a berserker means. That's if you get a berserker. I'm going to roll now. Mm -hmm. I got a miss. Damn it. Now, Hiken, it's an 8 plus 2. So, Hiken is, is shooting at Berkey. So, it's a long distance shot from here to there. Now, is it a, a range of six? What is the heck is the range? Seven. So four plus six is eight. Yep, eight plus two. Right. Defensive fire, uh, prep fire here. Eight firepower factors, whoops, eight firepower factors plus two need six or less I got a six so it's a morale check again a normal morale check your leader needs right. ten or less so I need to roll right yep but makes it now the broken unit needs ten or less mm -hmm. go for it Boop. makes it and the good order unit, which is not broken, needs 10 or less. All right, so I do it again? Yep. Bah. You made it. Congratulations. That was pure luck. <laughs> okay. So, um, Mikey, mm -hmm. you can fire back at me. We can start with Berkey. Berkey still has a six 
and that can fire two like machine guns and he, he's a minus two leader he can target your best bet is Watsonberger so how much would he have would be three plus two is five plus two is seven goes down to six at six plus one or yeah that's your best bet that's my best bet six or one yep so it would be this guy here to there right do you want to do it yeah so defensive fire from here to there six firepower plus one good luck roll mm -hmm. guess what you gotta hit oh, nice. a four five and a sixth chart oh that's good yep uh four five on the six chart is a one morale check so that's a one mc w waltzenberger needs eight or less i i'm rolling okay okay watch the roll i need eight or less Mm. Guts an eight. That is so friggin' lucky. You have no idea. Eight or less. He got an eight. Now all the other squads need eight or less three times, because mm -hmm. my minus two cancels your one, and I can give them one point extra. So eight or less times three. First squad breaks second squad makes it third squad makes it one squad broken your 447 up here can still fire at Wilsonberger mm -hmm. I'll do it yeah It'd be a six plus three Six plus three? Yep, plus three. All right, uh, roll. Yep, roll. Six on the six chart, plus three, six, nine, nope. Okay, no. these these guys here, so the heat defensive fired. Okay, these guys here can fire at these guys here. And that would be mm -hmm. eight plus three. Eight firepower factors plus three. I highly recommend that you do it. So I move, right? No, you fire. Oh, okay. Eight up Roll three. Again. Yeah. Nope. Nope, missed. You're getting a hang of it. Uh, it's frightening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now watch, Mikey. I'm watching. These dudes here, four four sevens, they have a chance to fire here, here, or here. Who do you want to fire at? Well, the option, uh, can you, 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 you give me the options again? K5? Yeah. Watsonberger? Or M7? Which one has a star? It doesn't matter who has the star. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where do those guys come from? There. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I'll do the one next to the MMG here. Right here. This guy. Boom. Okay. Then he can use the squad adjoining him. It would be 12 plus 3. So defensive fire here and defensive fire here. 12 plus 3. Roll. All right. Uh, after this, you want to save it and. Sure. That's right. an 8 plus 3, 9, 10, 11. On the 12th yes. chart. On the 12th chart. Missed by two. That 447 can still fire his inherent firepower down to K5. So just roll. It's a 4 plus 3. You need snake eyes. 
So I roll. Yep. I think that's a miss. Yep. Damn it. Okay. Defensive fire is over. Uh, you fired here, so this guy's the M. Hold on. One, two. Yep, that guy's the M. That guy's the M. This guy's the M. And these guys are all okay. Uh, these guys are okay. That's okay. Okay. Uh, defensive fired. He didn't have anybody to fire at. Okay, Axis. Prep fire phase. Movement phase. There was none. Axis defensive fire phase. Done. Axis advancing fire phase is none. A route phase. So I route first. This guy is going to stay put. This guy is going to stay put. Your guy can stay put. Okay. Um, the other guys are not... Um, they're not the end. Remove all fires. Remove all movement. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. uh, your guy here... Here can route to the leader. So one hex back. Uh, like this. Uh, like this. This guy goes like that and up there. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of our route phase. So now, uh, access advance phase. This guy's gonna go back to his post. Go back there, you coward. Mm -hmm. These guys are going to go here, take over the machine gun again. And this guy stays put. And my advance phase is over. Close combat, there isn't any. And next turn will be ally turn three. So we can save the game. Okay. Save game uh, as, save game as. And you can make a folder. Don't save the game. I'll save it. Uh, uh, okay. This is turn 2B. Dot VSAV. There you go. And I can say uh, good night to all the viewers, but uh, yeah, you can say good night to all the viewers. And thanks yeah, for playing, Michael. Night. Yeah, no problem. Okay, and I'm going to stop the recording.